guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a sensitive topic that I know many of us have dealt with in our personal lives or as writers, and that is haters and self-doubt. We've all been in situations where someone wants to tear us down, point out every single one of our flaws, and ridicule us publicly. We've also been in situations where we don't feel good enough, we doubt our own brilliance, and we allow all of those negative vibes to take over our lives. I'm not intending for this video to be a pep talk, but it might turn into one, so I hope that you guys are okay with that. Apologies again for my voice. I'm still getting over a cold, so it does kind of go in and out, and I still sound kind of measly, so hopefully you guys can bear with me. So let's talk about how we can dismiss the haters and crush our own self-doubt, because we're better than that. First, as amazing as social media is for connecting with others and networking, it has also given rude and opinionated people a playground to critique others and their work. They'll critique your spelling, your grammar, your style, your personal message, your work, your family, and they'll do it all in the public eye. They'll judge you with absolutely no remorse. So how do we deal with these types of people? Let us count the seven ways. Number one, do not allow haters to get under your skin. Easier said than done, right? Eleanor Roosevelt once said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. And it's true. First of all, you need to understand that any person out there who would berate another individual is a miserable human being. They are unhappy, insecure, and most likely hurting in some way. This does not give them the right to torment you, but you do need to understand that hurt people hurt people. Did you do anything to them? Probably not. But sometimes we can just piss other people off by being ourselves. And that sucks, but once you realize you can't do anything about it, you pick yourself up, you dust yourself off, and you move on to bigger and better things. Number two, remain graceful at all times. Before responding to haters, I urge you to always think first. Think about how you want to react, think about how you want to feel afterward, and know that you are in total control of your response. When someone says something negative about us, our work, our family, our first response is normally based off of emotion. We get fired up, we get defensive, we argue, we yell. You have to understand that you don't always have to go on emotion. It's okay to ignore the comments. It's okay to choose to let it go. Take the high road, let it roll off your shoulder, and go on being your badass self. Number three, consistently remind yourself of your accomplishments and self-worth. There will be times when you feel like the world is out to get you, especially as writers. When you're experiencing the wrath of those soul-sucking haters and all that negativity, it can be hard to focus on continuing to write and creating your stories. Remind yourself that you wrote a book. Did the person hating on you write a book? Probably not, because if they did, they wouldn't be behaving this way, because they would understand that writing a book is a very complex process, developing characters, connecting storylines, coming up with different subplots, and then somehow combining all of it to turn it into something that makes some sort of sense. It's not easy. They have no experience in the matter, but you do. So who are they to hate on you? They're nobody. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Number four, seek out your supporters and positive messages. Are the haters knocking on your door? The answer here is simple. Don't let them in. Instead, seek out your supporters and reinforce yourself with positive messages that you've received in the past. Surround yourself with family, friends, and other people who support what you're doing and lift you up. Keep a stash of positive book reviews and supportive messages handy. Whenever you're starting to feel down, take a look at all of those positive messages and remember all of the people that you've impacted in a positive way and all of the people who support you and admire your work. If you don't have that yet, then write a love letter to yourself. It sounds cheesy, I know. But in order to crush your own self-doubt, you yourself need to believe that you are valuable, that you are worthy, and that unicorns and rainbows fly out of your bum. Know your worth, know your value, and know that you are the only person who can do it like you. Number five, when all else fails, take a hiatus, which is a fancy word for a break. If haters are really starting to get to you, then take a break. Turn off your phone, shut down your laptop, and free yourself from those social media chains. Yes, social media is important for building your brand and connecting with readers, but it can also be a prison plagued with negativity and criticism. And the only person keeping yourself chained to it is you. Know when it's time to walk away for a little and do something that makes you happy. Read a book, go for a walk, chase your dogs around the backyard, go shopping. 
Just do something to break away from all the negativity and find your happy little self again. Once you've had a much needed me session to get back to the drawing board and start writing, you'll be amazed at how beneficial time away from social media is not only for your well-being, but also for your writing. Number six, focus on the why rather than the how. Normally when writers have doubts, they're centered around the idea of can I make it as an established author? When you have one of these days, take some time to reflect on why you're doing what you're doing. Where do you wanna be? What is the core reason for waking up every morning? What is your purpose in life? Why are you here? and remind yourself of those things daily. If you focus too much on the how, then thoughts like, how will I ever get this done when I have a full-time job and a family and school to worry about, or how long will this take for my writing to actually pay off, those types of thoughts are going to plague your mind. When you remember the why, you focus on your purpose and the hows fade away. Number seven, keep moving forward no matter what. When self-doubt begins to creep in, there's no better way to squash it than to do the very thing that you're doubting yourself on. So sit down at the kitchen table with a large piece of construction paper and make a vision board for your book series. Plop down at your computer and finish that outline. Throw on an inspiring playlist and write the day away. Keep on creating and smile while doing it. As long as you continue to create and move forward, then your self-doubt can't stop you. You'll actually end up stopping that self-doubt right in its tracks. So there you have it, seven ways to deal with those haters and crush your self-doubt. Hopefully you found some helpful advice in this little pep talk. If you enjoyed the content today, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. My debut novel, The Alpha Drive, is still available for purchase on Amazon in paperback, ebook, and hardcover. Hardcover, look at that. So I would love for you to check it out. I'll put the links down below. The sequel, The Order of Omega, is actually available for pre-order on Amazon right now, and it will be released on Tuesday, November 8th, 2016. In case you missed some of the announcements from my last videos, over the months of June and July, I will actually be doing some author events at Katie Budget Books in the greater Houston area. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and also subscribe to my newsletter, which you can do over on my website at kristenmartinbooks.com, so that way you can stay updated on those dates and when I will be attending them. I will also be attending LeviosaCon and I will have a table where I will be selling and signing copies of the Alpha Drive. So if you're in the Las Vegas area, July 8th and July 9th, I would love to meet you. If you have anything you'd like for me to talk about on my next videos, feel free to tweet at me at author Kristen M or you can leave a comment down below. I love answering your guys' questions in the comments filled below. I love the conversations that are spurring from those questions, so keep them coming. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to win bookish goodies every month. I post new videos on Tuesdays. I will see you guys next time. Bye.